that help? Sent by God to help you. An angel. My God. She's just your hallucination, Frank. Your job has finally pushed you over the edge. Kathleen? I am an angel. I care about you, Frank. And you can't take the pressure of this job anymore. You've done enough good deeds for one lifetime. It's time to take care of yourself. What a perfect plan to destroy a man who repairs broken families. I don't believe this is happening. It's not. You're losing your mind. No, you're fighting for your soul, Frank. Right here. Think. When did all these terrible things start happening to you? When did the nightmares begin? No. Kathleen loves me. No. Kathleen has shown you a poor imitation of love. But if you look at her with the light of God, then you will see her for what she truly is. Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. Look at her, Frank. You can't find them all, Frank. And they will pay for your mistakes. Don't listen to her. The pain, the terror of those children will be on your shoulders. God has abandoned them. No. Never. I'm telling you the truth. She's telling you lies, Frank. God, please help me. Who's telling the truth? Come on, baby. You said so yourself. I'm too good. To be true. She used to be an angel, but she traded the power of love for the love of power. But her power over you has just been broken. That was close. She almost stopped you from doing what you were born to do, Frank. To save the children. I don't. I don't save them. I want to win every time. God doesn't expect you to win every time, Frank. He loves you, and you should use that love to give you the strength to keep going. What about the children? Some of them you will carry back home in your arms. And the others, he will carry home in his. <sighs> Trust him.
and let go of anyone or anything that tries to hold you back. The boy you've been looking for, Brian, he's alive. And look who he grew up to be.